Hello and welcome to episode 2 of my editing workflow. Today I'm making a panoramic photo by merging three images together in Adobe Lightroom. So these are the three photos that I've taken. This is the first one, second photo and third photo. So I'm going to merge them together now and then we'll get into editing. So to merge these photos, I'm going to select the three photos that I've taken and right click Hit Photo Merge and Panorama. So as you can see, this has created a panorama preview. I'm going to select Cylinder and hit OK, Merge. OK, and as you can see, it has created a panoramic photo by merging three together. So I'm now going to start editing the photo. So first thing I can see looking at this it's underexposed so I'm just going to lift the exposure to about there. Uh, white balance again I like to leave it to last that's just the way I edit. So I come down now go to highlights hold in alt that's okay shadows Gonna lift the shadows a bit. So I can zoom in here and look at the details. And I'm gonna come to whites. Maybe lift the whites a wee bit, let me see. Still about plus seven maybe. So blacks are probably gonna yeah bring the blacks to minus fifty two for now might come back to that contrast i'm going to bring up to plus 12 maybe plus nine actually so vibrance i'm going to bring that up to 30. then i'm going to go through each color individually so first the red i'm going to leave that as it is oranges to plus 50. yellows greens, blues. So I'm just going to play about with the hue and see what looks good here. Change the colours about a bit. So I'm going to make the yellows a bit more of a greeny colour now. And the greens I'm going to also put the plus 14. I'm going to drop the blues to minus 10. Just going to readjust each colour in here. Maybe a bit too much. Orange maybe. So if I find a group of colours in the photo that I want to adjust, I can hit this tool here, click where I want and drag up or down like so to adjust the selected colour. It's a nice wee tool to use. So I'm going to crop this now and take the lock off. So if you want to get this photo straight, what you can do is use this angle tool and basically draw a line along the horizon line. So about there it looks to be about the horizon and that will automatically straighten up your photo. But I'm just going to adjust it a wee bit to about there, that looks straight. Okay, so then I'm going to crop out the white parts that I don't need. Make sure all the white is taken out of the photo around the border. Um, so again, I want to make this a panoramic shot. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, not too bad. Just adjust it here. Okay, I kind of like this framing now with some of the trees and this boat here in the foreground with the castle in the background. So what I'm going to do now is actually come down and look at texture. Texture wise, I'm going to bring up to just plus nine just to get a wee bit extra detail in that. And I'm also going to come to the details and increase the details a bit in the sharpness. So let me just zoom in and have a look. 
I'm bringing the sharpness up to 74. I'm just going to zoom in to check the details. You know, it's not the sharpest photos this, but for now, I guess it's just a demonstration. So now I'm going to come to split toning. Look at the highlights. And I want to add kind of this blue color into the sky and the water here. So I'm going to go plus eight. And then I'm going to go to shadows and see what looks good. This greeny color maybe. Yeah, I like this green color. So I'm going to drop it down and, and go on plus seven. I'm just going to readjust the blues now. Bring that down a wee bit. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the details. And first thing I can see is the castle is a bit too orange for me. So I'm going to make an adjustment brush. So I'm just going to drop the saturation here of the castle. So let's see. Just slightly. Okay, so I'm going to come to temperature now actually. And increase the temperature. Make it a wee bit warmer. Again, come back down to blues. Just the blues. So it's all about going back and forward, seeing what looks well and adjusting as you go along really. I'm thinking of making the water a bit softer. I'm just going to see if I like it or not. Yeah. Okay, I kind of like that, so. So I'm just going to readjust my vibrance. I'm actually going to bring it to plus 26. So I'm just going to look at the details here. It's not the most detailed photo, but I don't really mind because it's not for print. It's just for social media. So I'm happy enough with that. And um, with the sky, happy with the sky, happy with the water. Reflection, yeah. So I think I'm done actually, that was quite a quick edit. So I'm just going to show you what we had before. So this is what we had before, these three photos. And this was after. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you would like any tutorials, just let me know. If there's any specific thing about Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop you would like, to learn about just let me know and I will hopefully get a tutorial up for you. Okay so see you next time, thanks for watching, goodbye.